Uh, the Liquor Commission's vice chair has been forced to resign after an alleged drunken confrontation early Saturday morning at Play Bar Nightclub in Waikiki. As our Daryl Huff reports, Commissioner Lisa Martin may have used her power to intimidate bar employees. According to this police report, Lisa Martin used a Liquor Commissioner badge to get into the club. And when she was confronted by employees who said she was already intoxicated, things went downhill from there. Play bar employees told police Martin told them she will close the bar down because she can do anything she wants with the badge. She threatened to close down the bar and I would lose my job, one said. One employee took a picture of her Liquor Commission ID and said Martin took pictures of their Liquor Commission cards. An officer said, I smelled strong odor of alcohol coming from her and I told her she's not supposed to do her job drunk. After police arrived, Martin walked away with her friend. The city says commissioners are not supposed to do field enforcement of liquor laws, and the consequence was swift. An announcement that uh, 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 Commissioner Martin has uh, resigned. That was the commission without Martin just last night. Mayor Rick Blangiardi had accepted her reluctant resignation Monday. The mayor's office saying Mayor Blangiardi is saddened by events which were inconsistent with Ms. Martin's desire and commitment to serve the residents of Honolulu as a member of the Honolulu Liquor Commission. The mayor appreciates Ms. Martin accepting accountability for her personal conduct. Martin was confirmed so to the voluntary appointment the just strong, four months right? ago. And I'm ready to serve and I'm so ecstatic. She was one of three new commissioners, one of two from the LGBTQ community, part of the mayor's effort to repair the commission's credibility after allegations of harassment of gay establishments. This is really a, a solid new beginning for us. At her confirmation hearing, Martin promised to be a change agent. And um, we, we got to move the needle. I mean, we're, we're in the news and we want to get out of the news. <laughs> now leading the news, Martin told Hawaii News Now, I so wanted to do so many good things in the process. Instead, her conduct is evidence to critics, like the owner of Scarlet Nightclub, that the commission has not progressed. This is horrifying. Uh, we have alleged that they have blatantly abused their power. Uh, they've been negligent in their training, and I think this all but confirms everything that we've been saying now for two years. It's important to point out that this report was only generated to document the incident, and Lisa Martin is not being accused or investigated for any crime. The bar owner refused to comment. Reporting from Waikiki, Daryl Huff, Hawaii News Now.